the person who was surveilled by the Department of Justice Criminal Intelligence Unit for using the hashtag Black Lives Matter on Twitter. I am the person who sent the letter to Ellen Rosenblum, uh, along with some of my partners, AFL-CIO, AFSCME, ACLU, and others, to say, hey, not cool, <laughs> and probably illegal, and let's get a hustle on figuring out how to get to the bottom of it. I want to say a little briefly, it is not my joy to send public letters about things that elected officials have done in the state, least of all Democrats, quite frankly, even though in my position it's nonpartisan, so, you know, that doesn't matter so much. But it is my duty, my responsibility, having worked so hard as a staff for so long, to, child in the room, to call BS <laughs> when I see it, and to hold elected officials accountable to all of us. Yeah. Because that's what they're supposed to do. Right. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right now. Yeah. And when they don't show that urgency, part of my job is to say, yeah, no, not cool. And for some reason, I was put in the position to be able to do that this time. My husband was thrown into the position of wow. being the person who was uh, being peeped at. Uh, and that happened in Salem. Wow. By the Attorney General's own admission, it happened in Salem. So uh, the final thing I will close with is, I didn't hear from Representative uh, Jody Hack about why the fact that it was it's wrong, it's bad, that she's paying attention to, to the investigation, that there should be more anything. I didn't hear from Peter Courtney, hey, this doesn't sound good and I'm concerned. But it happened in Salem. Yeah. The court talks about things happening the same all the time. That's what he does. Same thing with Representative Winters, same thing with the governor. They weren't speaking out about this, uh. even just to say, hey, I'm aware of it and I'm concerned. That made me unhappy. Yeah. Because we're Democrats and we're supposed to be better than that. It's easy to do the right thing. So just do it. Do it. When it's hard to do the right thing, do it anyway. But in this case, it was really easy. So you will see uh, if you care to or have read about that, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of context for why it was necessary to approach the way we did, because there was not sufficient urgency around the need to let Oregonians know. I see someone in, in front, Cecilia, wearing a Black Lives Matter wristband. Oh. My guess is there are far more folks who look like Cecilia who have been tweeting about Black Lives Matter than that look like me. But how many of them have files? I don't know. You certainly deserve to have that conversation and for your government to tell you. So that's what that was all about. Thank you. Thank you.